This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by Mile High Ambulance. The Emergency Medical Minute is excited to announce that we are now offering AMA, PRA, Category 1 credits. This is accessible through our online course modules that can be accessed at www.emergencymedicalminute.org backslash CME dash courses, or simply by clicking on the link in our show notes and creating an account. All right, well, good evening, everyone. Happy holiday weekend. Uh, thanks for being here. So this is a um, kind of medical minute to follow up on a recent study, a big study that just came out in the New England Journal, kind of major medical publication this past week, um, talking about uh, fluid amounts in septic shock patients. So we definitely uh, have had this idea for a long time that, you know, giving septic patients fluids is beneficial. Um, it's still a construct, you know, they, there's still a requirement to give 30, or goal to give 30 mLs per kilo, so a fair amount of fluids to septic shock patients. Uh, but there's more and more questions as to whether that's really beneficial and whether it's potentially harmful. So there's, you know, a lot of people who, you know, say that, you know, we don't need to give this much fluids. And there's been this debate going back and forth without a lot of great studies. So there was this study, which was done in many ICUs, looking at either restrictive fluid or just normal amount of fluids, how much ever the docs wanted to give, and looking at 30-day mortalities um, to see if there was a benefit from giving less fluids. Interestingly, this didn't include the 30 ml per kilo bolus. Septic shock patients still got that 30 ml per kilo initially across the board, and then after that, it was the difference in the fluid. So this doesn't answer you know, what we do initially. But the results of the trial show that there was basically no difference. There was no benefit to giving less fluids. There was also no harm to giving less fluids. Uh, it was the same 30-day mortality. So, you know, I think that this probably shows that, you know, there's not probably a lot of benefit to giving a ton of fluids. We don't know the right amount. And I think there will be studies looking at the initial kind of resuscitation. You know, there's been more and more people suggesting that early pressers are important. You know, you shouldn't just give someone 12 liters of fluids trying to get their pressures up, you know, probably start pressers early. Give fluids if we really think they need them. There's different ways to assess if someone's gonna be responsive to fluids. Some people probably benefit, but most people probably don't need an insane amount of fluids. And like I said, in this study, after the 30 mils per kilo, there wasn't really any difference whether people got a lot or a little bit of fluids. Any questions? All right, thanks everybody. We'd like to thank our sponsor, Health One Continental Division and Swedish Medical Center for their financial contributions to the EMM. Donations from them and listeners like you make it possible for us to fulfill our mission of producing and spreading free medical education to the masses. If you enjoy our show, please consider making a one-time or reoccurring donation to help cover our operational costs and keep the EMM awesome. Click on the link in our show notes to make a donation. Thank you for listening.